In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and more easily get rid of dust spots in your photographs. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be a real quick one. I wanna show you a tool inside of Lightroom that's gonna make your life a lot easier when you're trying to remove uh, dust spots that are on your sensor, that show up on your photograph. It's just a part of life with digital photography. At some point, your, your sensor is gonna start picking up all these little things, whether it be dust or droplets or whatever. Um, and those are gonna show up in your photograph. And so if you wanna do a really good edit of your photos, you're gonna to have to remove those. Now, typically removing them, that's not very difficult at all. We all know how to use things like the spot removal tool inside of Lightroom to get rid of them. The hard part typically is finding them and just identifying what is a spot. And typically the way that you do that is you zoom in uh, to your photograph to 100%. You analyze the scene, and then if you can't find anything, then you move over to the right and so forth, and you keep doing that, and then you sort of go down and continue with this zigzag approach looking for spots. The thing is that they're really easy to, um, to miss. They can be easy to miss, especially if you're shooting at a, um, at a large aperture, so something like an f2.8 or f4, then those spots are gonna be quite blurry, and they're gonna be very easy to miss. So I wanna show you a tool that's built inside of Lightroom uh, that is going to help your, or it's gonna make your life a lot easier just identifying these spots, and it's just gonna probably speed up your whole process overall. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so here we are inside of Lightroom Classic and I've got a simple headshot photograph here with a simple backdrop, but that is really perfect to show you the effectiveness of this tool. Now, when you're looking for spots, typically what you do is you zoom into the photograph at 100% and using the navigator, this is the way that I do it, is I just move around the photograph and I'm looking for something that shouldn't be there. So I'm looking for spots. Um, in the, um, and in here, I sort of don't see anything. I see a couple of things in there, like a bit of a smudge. I'm not sure if that's gonna come out in the video, um, but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna show it to you. Um, you'll, you'll be able to see it in a second. So uh, overall, this photograph doesn't look too bad. There's a couple of little things, but overall it looks pretty clean, but let's really find out if there are any spots in there. So let's zoom out again. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to go to the develop module. We're gonna click the develop module and then we are going to go to the spot removal tool, which is over here. So we're gonna click on that. Now, this is the thing that you use when you are trying to get rid of, uh, of spots, okay? Or you're trying to clone things out of the photograph. Now, what we are going to do is down the bottom, you may have never seen this before, but there's a little checkbox in there that says visualize spots. So we're gonna turn that on. And when we do, it's gonna go all funky, okay? And the photograph is gonna look all sort of, sort of uh, well, weird is the only way that I can describe this. And what's actually happening here is that the photograph is looking for changes in texture, okay? So um, as you can see, the background is all dark, but all of a sudden a person appears in the, in the frame. And so it, it draws the outline of that person. And then you've got skin and then the skin continues. So then it goes black again. So every time the texture changes, it turns to white. And that's how this tool is representing this photograph. And that's what we're gonna to use to be able to find spots because the spots, typically what's gonna happen is that the spots are breaking uh, the, uh, the, the actual texture itself. So all of a sudden it's smooth, but then there's a spot. So you would hope that that would turn up. So, or show up, I should say. So what we're gonna do is the way that I use it is I, I slide uh, this slider here all the way to the right. And I want you to see what happens. And I'm not looking so much as the per at the person in here. I'm looking at the background. All this stuff starts to show up now, okay? And I wasn't able to see that before. Uh, but as you can see, if I go left and right, you're going to see all these little circles appearing, okay? Now, this is what uh, Lightroom is telling you. It's seen something that shouldn't have been there, right? Now, this backdrop should be, the backdrop should be completely smooth, but it's telling me that it's not. There's something in there that's causing that pattern break. So what we're gonna do is, as you can see, there's one up here, there's a really bright little circle in there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna turn visualize spots off, okay? And we're gonna go and zoom in to that section there where it was saying that it was, it was seeing something. And I'm not sure if this is gonna show up in the video, but just above where the hand is, and I'm going to move the, the, the photograph, or just to the left of the hand pointer, I'm gonna move the photograph up and down and see if you can actually see the spot. I can see it in here, but it may not show up on the on, on the video itself. So what we're going to do is let's crank up the texture all the way to the right. Okay. Let's do the clarity all the way to the right as well. 
and uh, let's do the contrast as well. That might be able to uh, show show up a little bit better. And as you can see now, sh I hope that you'll be able to see the spot that you can see just there. Okay, now we weren't, we weren't able to see that before, but it's only because we turned on that tool that we were able to spot it in the first place. So what we would do is we go in there and clone that out so we could do uh, use the clone stamp tool, okay, or the spot removal tool. And we're gonna go in there, just make it a little bit smaller. And let's just do that. And now that's gone. Okay. And then if I go and continue, turn that the visualize spots back on. Uh, let's now reset the photograph though, or reset the uh, the sliders down the bottom, the texture and the clarity and the contrast. Okay. And uh, let's zoom out again actually before we do that. So let's go there and we're going to turn that back on. And you can see that that spot is no longer there. That circle there just means that I've edited it. Um, so let me go a bit further to the right as far as it goes. And you can see that there's little spots there. There's another one there. There's another one there. There's a whole bunch of them down over here. There's some over here as well. So let's have a look at this one here now. Okay, so we're going to click on uh, done. Uh, let's go in there. It's saying that there's something in there. Now, I can't actually see it. So let me play around with the uh, clarity and the texture. And all of a sudden, it shows up in there as well, right? So you could do this if you didn't want to use that other tool that I was just showing you. But the other tool is just more, um, it just highlights the spot much, much easier. If you did, if you used this method, you would still have to uh, scroll through the whole photograph because the spot is too small, okay? So if you zoomed out, for example, it'd be really easy to miss because it's just uh, it's sort of hidden in there. It kind of blends with the backdrop. With the backdrop. And uh, so that is why when you use this tool here, it just becomes really, really easy. Let me just again set these back to what they were. It, they become really obvious and they really stand out. And this is the way that I use uh, when I'm looking for spots because if you do have a spot and you miss it, it's a really... It's a really easy way to really just ruin a photograph. So hopefully uh, this is something that's going to help you. Uh, if you do have any questions though, leave them in the, in the comment section below. Um, and um, otherwise you can reach me through any of the uh, social media channels. But if you have any questions about this or anything else, just let me know in there. But hopefully this is something that you're going to be able to use uh, to make your processes uh, just a little bit more effective and just to be able to uh, to be able to find more spots in your photographs. So that's it. I hope you were able to follow along. And if you did like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. When you do, it makes a big difference to me and to the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. I make videos like this all the time to help you with your photography. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. And that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about today, you can reach me through um, the comment section below or any of the usual social media platforms and you're going to find all the links in the description below. So that's everything I've got for you today. I want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.